Welcome to Bani Hashim Brigade. Today we would expose the apostate prophet, a liar, not a liar, but calling him a deceiver would be much much appropriate because he does not lie directly, but he presents the truth about Islam and only that selected truth in such a manner that people will estimate themselves that Islam is a very bad religion. Well, Muslims have known about such tricks of disbelievers right from the ancient times. Today we would expose his video in which he has accused the Prophet of being a pedophile Naujibillah. Just because the Prophet married a 6 year old girl. Not only he but many other disbelievers do the same and they all would be answered. After watching my complete video it's my request to my viewers to go and watch his video and understand how he fools people through his selective spreading of Islam and changing the senses and meanings of the sentences as per his own desires. He says that Prophet married the 6 year old girl and consummated the marriage when she was 9. Hence he is a pedophile. After that he says that Muslims give a number of reasons to reject the claim that mother Aisha was 9 or other things. Very first thing I would like to be clear with is that Muslims don't give excuses for her age. He has made the video and spoke in such a way that he just wants to pose as if Muslims are ashamed of their prophet's marriage to a 6 year old girl. And in order to hide this history, Muslims give excuses. And then he poses himself to be the superhero who exposes the Muslims attempt to hide the truth which is certainly not the case. No Muslim has given any excuse, I will explain you everything in detail. Please watch the complete video to understand because people like apostate prophet mix the truth with lies so it will take a bit to separate them apart and expose him naked to the world. Regarding mother Aisha may Allah be pleased with her. Look at this hadith from Sahih Bukhari which that deceiver apostate did not show you all. And I don't know that if he claims himself to be so innocent then why did he hide this hadith. It's a Sahih Hadith in Bukhari Volume 1 Book 6 Hadith number 299 that Aisha said whenever Allah's Apostle wanted to fondle any one of us during her periods, he used to order her to put on Izar, a dress worn below the waist and start fondling her. Aisha added none of you could control his sexual desires as the Prophet could. Oh ho ho ho. There you can see at the end why deceiver apostate did not show you this hadith. The wife of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is saying herself that none of you could control his sexual desires as the Prophet could. So the deceiver apostate knew that if he would put this hadith on display then he won't be able to manipulate other hadith according to his own wishes. And certainly he would not be able to call the Prophet a sex addict and a pedophile because that 9 year old wife of prophet is herself saying that he had a great control on his sexual desires. Now it seems very awkward hmm? A pedophile and the girl child who lives with him says that the man has greatest control on his sexual desires. This clearly depicts that prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was not a sex addict and never had forced sex nor woman sexual abuse and was certainly not a pedophile because only a mentally retarded person will call him such after listening the words of the 9 year old wife that prophet had great control over his sexual desires. Pedophiles don't have any control over their sexual desires. That's why they become pedophiles. We have another Sahih Hadith from Bukhari which says Aisha narrated the messenger of Allah would fondle me while he was fasting and he had the most control amongst you of his limb. Again she says the same thing. That's been mentioned two times now. Then we have a long hadith in Sahih Bukhari in which at the end mother Aisha says that Zainab was competing with me in her beauty and the prophet's love yet Allah protected her from being malicious for she had piety. Here you can clearly see that mother Aisha was competing with co-wife mother Zainab for prophet's love. There are innumerable accounts of mother Aisha always wanting to be loved the most by the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Now a 9 year old girl 
abused by a 53 year old man at night and in the morning that 9 year old girl praises that man and competes for his love with other wives hmm that sounds quite awkward being abused at night then praising in the morning being forced for intimacy at night and then praising that same man in the morning those who have such thoughts must get mental check up i suppose one more point to be noted in the first sahih hadith is that mother aisha may allah be pleased with her says whenever allah's apostle wanted to fondle any one of us during her period notice any one of us during her periods this clearly shows that 9 year old girl was a menstruating lady and one who had reached pu- her puberty and was not just a small child now you will say that she may be talking about that hadith when she grew up at 12 or 13 well if you say such then we would like to say to you or to those who say that prophet had sex with a 9 year old girl that there is no mention of prophet had sex with a 9 year old i wonder where you got that phrase from she was married at the age of 6 and lived with her parents and at 9 or 10 when she reached puberty that is she grew up that's what most of us believe she was sent by her parents to the prophet's house and then there is nothing like when the prophet peace be upon him had relationships with her she lived with the prophet from 9 to 19 and that would be very very wrong if you take the indirect meaning of any hadith that this shows they were in relationship and relate to her age as 9 it could be anywhere in between 9 to 19 the deceiver apostate has also posted a hadith from sahih bukhari stating that prophet was screening mother aisha while she watched ethiopian's play and the deceiver posted wanted you to notice the words that mother aisha has not reached the puberty he wanted you to believe indirectly that the prophet used to sleep with a girl who has not even reached puberty now look how he deceived you there is another version of the hadith from sahi bukhari narrated by aisha once i saw allah's apostle at the door of my house while some ethiopians were playing in the mosque displaying their skills with spears Allah the apostle was screening me with his rida so as to enable me to see her to see their display in this mother aisha says prophet came at the house of her door so most probably this is the hadith from time when she lived or when she was in between the ages 6 to 9 and still lived at her parents home it's known that prophet used to visit the house of abu bakr May Allah be pleased with him very often. This incident and the incident of Mother Aisha playing with the dolls must have happened during one of Prophet's visits to his friend's house when Aisha may Allah be pleased with her still lived at her parents house and marriage was not consummated between her ages 6 and 9. There is no literal stamped proof that I have put in this video whether these incidents happened before or after the marriage was consummated. However I wonder where did that deceiver apostate get the conclusion from that these incidents happened at the marriage after the marriage was consummated Then had the prophet been a pedophile as some ignorance claim I don't think a pedophile even after getting married to a child girl can wait for 3 4 years to live with that girl The prophet married Aicha at the age of 6 but then waited till she was between 9 and 10 can those pedophile expert explain how a pedophile can wait for more than 3 years and let the little girl reach puberty before consuming the marriage normally pedophiles rape small children without their consent but until now we can see with clear proofs that that's not at all the case with the prophet the prophet's wait until aisha reached puberty is clear indication that he was certainly not a pedophile only an insane man will utter such sentences then mother aisha lived for more than 6 decades and has quoted a huge number of hadith bring from history anything that shows she was unhappy with the prophet and complained about the prophet instead even after the death of prophet she loved him and whole life she praises him just like every day and minute 
if at all she was abused and mistreated and tortured by the prophet in her childhood then can you please explain why she praised and loved the prophet in his life as well as after his death the deceiver apostate in his video has portrayed has portrayed that image of prophet only that as if the prophet must be raping that 9 year old wife can that apostate answer why the 9 year old girl always loved and praised the prophet then prophet married aisha may allah be pleased with her at the age of 6 her father was so happy of the marriage there is no need to waste time on explaining this abu bakr may allah be pleased with him has lived with the prophet until his death and he was never ever unhappy about the marriage her mother was also so happy of the marriage we can see it from the following sahih hadith that her mother even gave her to eat cucumber and dates together so that she will gain weight before sending her to the prophet's house so that the prophet will be happy to see her in good health there is no account of anybody in relatives of both sides being unhappy of the marriage except that all were happy so i wonder why are you 21st century men so jealous and unhappy about the marriage the bride is happy the groom is happy and both families are happy the whole community is happy and all of them remain happy throughout their life then marrying the girls at young age must not be something out of traditions of people of those times or the age of aisha must be older whatever may be the case we don't know but one thing is for sure that that marriage was normal as per then customs and traditions and islam also allows that this is because the disbelievers of arabia always found a smallest of reasons to humiliate the prophet but there is nothing in history that depicts any reaction of the disbelievers and their attempt to humiliate the prophet regarding his marriage to mother aisha had that marriage been something awkward we would have surely found the accusations put forward by the disbelievers of that time on the prophet and this alleged allegation of prophet marrying a 6 year old and living with a 9 year old did not come into existence until the 20th century because such marriage has been quite common throughout history the arabs didn't complain the parents the families the bride none never complained until 20th century so you should understand that you have been brainwashed for islamophobia aisha may allah be pleased with her was extremely brilliant and had sharpest of minds that when the prophet passed away at her age of 18 or 19 she even remembered the exact word of the prophet and taught it to the people a very vast a very vast majority of hadiths have been reported from aisha because she remembered everything from the prophet because of her young age and sharp mind so it was the decree of allah to marry aisha may allah be pleased with her to prophet muhammad peace be upon him and that led to the knowledge of people how to treat their wives and live at home and how to sleep and wake up and all these small things were noted by her and later communicated to people stay close to islam and truth the liars would be exposed very soon subscribe to our channel to try to protect yourself from such misguided people uh-huh.